Hey, what is going on everyone here at Carnage Clan? My name is Carnage Greg, also known as Greg FPS, and today what we have for you guys is a triple DNA bomb with everyone's favorite gun, the BAL or the Ball or the BAL 27, however you like to pronounce it. And honestly, guys, this is a really ridiculous gameplay. So it's a triple DNA on the map recovery, which is my personal favorite map in this game. I just like how it opens up and we get the volcano action going on. You gotta evacuate, you feel like you're gonna die from the different volcanic rocks that fall I don't know why there's just rocks like it would be way better if there was lava let's be honest but overall it's a really cool map and definitely awesome this gameplay is brought to you by carnage destructinator or carnage nader and if you guys haven't checked out his channel you are honestly missing out I know each and every one of you guys hear every single video how we're giving out the gameplay commentator or the game player the overall shout out for the video now i feel like some people just don't get enough credit for what they're actually doing and i really think like nader is one of these people he posts amazing videos on his channel like ridiculous gameplays like this one he also does commentaries and a bunch of other stuff that i'm sure you guys would definitely enjoy so make sure you really do go check out his channel it'd be greatly appreciated guys so today i'm actually going to be telling you guys a life story and this is a story that happened to me when i was in college and i'm still in college but it was a semester or two ago and it was pretty interesting and I felt like a complete jerk it's a, it's a really weird story so you're gonna have to kind of bear with me here but overall I'm sure you guys will get a little laugh out of it so anyways guys I am in a video production and audio major and basically I was taking my last video production class which the teacher didn't like me for some reason he would give me like C's every single class even though I did all the work got 100s on all the tests and I would go to every extracurricular activity which was like at least once a month he would still give me C's which is complete bull because I really did try hard in that class but whatever I mean that guy just has a just problem with me for no apparent reason at all but also guys this class was a video production class so one day per week we would have a lecture and then the next day we would have a video lab and this happened every single week so in the lecture class he would kind of tell us or we would learn about different shots you could do with interviews and different things like that and then in my actual lab class we would actually get hands-on experience using the equipment and actually videotape things or direct people or things like that so this was towards the end of the semester and it was my turn to direct the overall like script that I made so we had to write a script do like a two-minute script about a commercial or something like that and we would direct it and we would have to type everything up and it would go on the teleprompter so that the actors could read it and we would have different people do the cameras and everything like that and overall it was a really great experience well in my actual video class we had gone through this entire class with this one guy that would always be the rudest guy he was always a jerk to everyone I don't know why he thought he was better than everyone else because he worked at his TV's local station for his town and all they did was really upload like church sermons and like high school football games and stuff like that but overall he was like the high and mighty guy like he knew what he was talking about all the time apparently or so he thought but really he didn't and everyone would just get an argument arguments with him all the time but basically this guy was about 300 pounds he was just one of those guys that doesn't really have good hygiene and he had really greasy hair with dandruff and he was overweight and things like that and he wore shirts that were way too small for him he was probably wearing like large shirts when he should be wearing like an XL or a double XL and it was kind of just one of those really really annoying scenarios so every single day or the entire semester we would have to deal with this guy's butt crack because his shirts were way too small and everyone was getting really sick of it everyone like covers their eyes when he walks in the class because he always had to sit in the front like he was like the teacher's pet of a video class which I don't really know why you would want to do that but whatever apparently the teacher really liked him and it was kind of a joke because he probably got a better grade than I did even though I worked harder than him but whatever 
So we're in the class and like I said, we're, it's at the end. We had to do a final where we actually made like a two minute story. So I'm the director and up in the director studio, there's like four monitors directly in front of me. And basically I tell the cameramen to go to what shot they all had headsets down in the studio and then everyone would be acting and things like that. So I was the director and the teacher was down there setting something up. And basically I did not know that the mic that I I had in front of me was unmuted so there's a mic there basically I just tell the cameraman all right you're gonna cover John or something like that when he goes down to pick something up or something like that so this was just a really really bad situation because the guy that had the butt crack showing every single class was a cameraman so we we're hypothetically talking about Christmas presents that we could get for each other because it was towards the end of the semester like I said and basically Basically, I said, all right, well, we should all get this guy some extra large shirts so that we couldn't see his butt crack anymore. And basically, what ended up happening, guys, was it was unmuted. He heard me, and I just felt like a complete jerk. And after the class, before I could even say sorry, he said, I had a really horrible situation when I was younger where I couldn't walk for three months and they had to have surgery right above my butt crack. So it turns out that we weren't actually seeing his butt crack the entire time. It was actually where he had an incision for surgery, which really sucked. And I felt like a complete jerk after that. But I mean, he really needs to clean up his hygiene. Let's be honest here. I mean, he was getting dandruff on my iPad and I'm not having that. I am an independent black woman in I don't need no man but I mean come on it was it was just really annoying guys and I hope you enjoyed the story it wasn't as funny as when it actually happened because honestly I was laughing like crazy but overall I hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculous triple DNA bomb brought to you by Carnage Nader he is a monster guys make sure you check out his channel and if you guys want to see more Call of Duty content make sure you guys do check out my channel Greg FPS I post every single day and live stream every night and I'm sure you guys would definitely enjoy the content I have to show you guys on my channel as well so overall here at Carnage guys we are just pumping out some ridiculous gameplays we are very very close to getting the world's first quad DNA a bomb i cannot wait for that to happen chances are you might have even seen it before this commentary even goes up but anyways guys my name is carnage greg and a ridiculous gameplay by carnage nader i will see you guys later peace out have a great day